Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Cottonwood Hill Farms. So, we got another big day today. We are working on fourth crop. So as you saw in the last video, we got that cut and uh, it, it looked pretty good. It was, it was in pretty much full bloom, almost full bloom, not quite full bloom, I guess. And uh, we did have some foxtail in it, but uh, it was still really good hay. There was actually quite a bit of grass in it. And uh, it, was, it was about the same as third crop. And what I'm thinking, I was thinking we were gonna square bale part of it and then round bale part of it just because of lack of, of labor and help to put this up because all of the young guys helping me are back in school now. So, and just to give you a reference, I think today's the 20, 28th, 28th of August. I don't know, somewhere in there, 27, 28, 29, somewhere in there. So anyway, I think it's 28th. So I changed my mind. We're not supposed to get any rain at all. So I'm going to go ahead and square bale all of this. And I'm guessing there's going to be over 300 bales for sure here. This is a, a good crop. I already got it raked up. I was going to get some footage of that, but I forgot the camera. So I got it raked up. It's all ready to go here. And uh, I, my timing has been great so far. Tons of leaves. This stuff looks great. It's ready to go. And uh, there's a nice, nice breeze today. And it's dry, low humidity. Great, great weather for baling hay. I think the high is only like 80, 83, something like that today. So the plan is I'm gonna bale everything and we're gonna pick up one or two loads tonight. And a load is roughly close to hundred bales is what we can fit on that trailer. And we're just gonna let the, the rest of it lay here because we're not, there's, there's no rain in the forecast. And so my logic here is if it rains, we could use some rain. And if it doesn't rain, we'll pick the hay up tomorrow. So I see that as a win-win. So that's how I'm going with this. But uh, I think it's going to be fine. But I'm pretty excited. This is really good hay. This is going to be excellent feed. And after seeing the quality of it, I just decided we're going to we're going to square bale the whole the whole lot because uh, square bales, I, square bales, they're easy to feed. It's easy to uh, control the amount of the, your your rations. It's uh, there's not near as much waste with square bales and it's better quality because we can keep inside we don't have big buildings big barns that we can keep round bales in but we do have a lot of storage for square bales so i'm going to take advantage of that and i think uh, we're just going to square bale it all so anyway the uh, i got the baler everything's ready to go i'm down here i'm just ready to get started i got the uh the pickup dropped and i got the uh the baler swung out so we're ready to go These bales are turning out great. Yeah, this is gonna be really good hay.
All right, guys, so it's the next day. I got, uh, I'm just getting ready to get the elevators set up. And uh, what I got, first thing I got to do is uh, I got to run some water down to the dry cows, make sure they got water. And then uh, as soon as I get back, we're going to, we'll set that John Deere elevator up on the hayloft. And then we're going to, uh, then we'll set the other elevator. I got it fixed, fixed. We'll find out after about 20 minutes of use, we'll see if it's still working. Um, but I got it in theory fixed. So we're going to set that one up over in the cattle barn and uh, you guys will see kind of why that one works a little bit better and uh, why it's a lot easier on our backs using that thing. These ladies are ready to pop. A couple of them are. Should be having some calves on the ground here in about oh three weeks or so. All right, so I got the elevator set up here. This is what I meant by we just put it right in the door. That other one's, that other elevator's way too big. We've got this door up here, but obviously you got to get the stack up and you got to fill all this in. And considering I'm using part of this as storage, I got my crap here. Uh, that wouldn't work out real well. My uh, my plan eventually is to put a uh, to put a hayloft in here. That's kind of what I'm wanting to do. Uh, maybe next year. I don't know. We'll kind of see where we're at, but. That's my goal is to at least loft half of this. Uh, I'd probably be, I don't know if I do the front or the back, probably do the front half. That way I can put hay all the way, all the way in here, but I can still have this open because my goal is to put a manger over here this fall so I can feed hay into that lean to. And then eventually maybe even on this side as well. That way during inclement weather, uh, you know, thunderstorms, rain, whatnot, that kind of stuff, uh, really cold weather, snow, when I want the cattle up close, I can feed them inside. That way their, their uh, feed doesn't get, uh, you know, just doesn't get uh, wasted. A lot of times during snowstorms, things like that, if you're feeding outside, the feed just, it gets snow in it and it gets wet and they don't eat all of it. And so if I can feed them inside during that inclement weather, that's going to save me, save us some, some uh, wasted feed. So that's kind of my goal here is probably, probably do the front half into a hayloft and then uh, leave the back open so I can uh, would just stack up to the hayloft in the back and then put the elevator through the front or through the door up here and then we you know stack the rest of it out so that's kind of my goal but anyway this is this works for now this is the way grandpa's did it and it works real well um, we'll uh, first thing we'll do is we'll build this up and then we'll just feed everything in through there here and we'll we'll be able to fill up to the top and I'm hoping I'm hoping to be able to put Oh, we should be able to get close to 300 bales in here, I think. Um, something like that. We should be able to get close to that. I don't know if it's all going to fit in here, but I think we're going to get darn close. So we'll see what happens. Now I'm going to go, uh, we got to go set the other elevator up in the other barn too. So I got that one set up too. I got the tractor tractor hooked up to this one right now. We're gonna fill the hayloft first and then put, our, put as much as we can over in the cattle barn. And then we'll, if that gets full, then we'll decide what we're gonna do from there. But uh, looks like I need a new hydraulic hose. Whoops. And that stupid tractor, I finally got a, a voltage regulator for it, but I don't have it put on yet. So we gotta leave it idling. It should be fine. But uh, the boys should be here pretty quick and we're gonna get start picking up hay and get going.
she is just about plumb full i got uh i lost count like five different times so we're somewhere between 77 and 85 is what i fit in here so i'm gonna say 80. but you can see she's this full which is awesome and i think so we moved this scuttle hole right here used to be over in the middle of that wall over there and we just moved it and we added this door that way we can get uh i can toss bales out without taking them down through the parlor so i don't have to get so i don't have to get hay all down in the parlor and i think i think that works out better because i think we can fit more bales up here with the scuttle hole here over here in the corner versus in the middle of the uh, floor so anyway this is full it's a wrap that's a good feeling This is what the bales are. We got the bales today. One of them people, and half of them fell. Well, hey everybody, welcome back. It's the next day, and uh, we we didn't quite we didn't get finished yesterday. I we still had uh, about I think it was 57 or 58 bales that we left on the trailer overnight. I just got it. Went, we were supposed to have some extra help, but uh, we only wound up with two of us: my dad driving and another guy and I stacking. Uh, my neighbor helped for a little bit but he had to leave after i think it was only like 45 minutes but anyway so we didn't get everything finished there's still i think 150 bales out in the field we're gonna go pick those up now we just got got done unloading that 50 or 55 or whatever so this barn's getting pretty darn full we should be able to fit i'm by myself and uh we're getting to the point where this elevator is going to be useless here in about another 20 ish bales or so so we're going to get what we can in here and i think the rest I'm gonna put on the other side in that lean-to on pallets uh, where I put that other hay. And then I should be able to clean clean this up here in front too. So we should be able to get everything in here between the lean-to and in here. I'm not real worried about that, but uh, that's kind of the plan now. But this is the first time I've never had this much hay in here. So it's a good feeling, it's exciting, but that's a, that's a whole lot of hay. I didn't quite figure it up yet how many bales I'll have, but uh, I wanna say this barn will hold like 1,800 or something like that. We're not going to have that many. I think total will wind up with around 1,200, 1,200 squares this year. So anyway, let's get back to it. Hey, Dad, yeah. drop this hitch down just a little. That's good.
So we got our last load. I don't know how many are on there, but it's gotta be, it's gotta be close to 140, I would think. But that's everything. Well, I take that back. There's three, three bro broken bales down in the field I gotta go grab. But I think I'm getting to a point in this barn where I can't do this by myself anymore. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna take that top layer, the top two layers off, which isn't that many bales. And then uh, put them in here. And then I'm gonna stick the, uh, the trailer and the rest of those bales in the, in the shop and uh wait for another day when i get get some more help and then we'll come back and stuff them in here so She's not quite full yet. It's probably, this barn's got to be close to half full, I would say. That's going to do it for now. I'll have to wait until I get a little more help to do the rest of that and whatever. Like I said, whatever we can't fit in the barn, we'll stick in this lean-to over here. That's probably going to do it for the video. I'm going to go over and uh, we're going to back this, this trailer with the rest of the hay on it in the shop. Let it sit for a day or two or whatever until I get some more help. But. Like always, we appreciate you guys tagging along. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you don't miss any of the videos that are coming out. You can check out all of our other videos too on our channel. And uh, don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm out of breath. But uh, anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're all staying safe out there. You guys take care. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you in the next one.